Lazy cuckoos. Have you heard of lazy birds? No? Some birds are known to be lazy because they do not build their own nest. These birds lay their eggs in the nests made by other birds. One famous example of lazy birds are cuckoos, which are too lazy to build their own nest and instead choose to lay eggs in the nests made by crows, robins or other songbirds. When a female cuckoo is ready to lay eggs, it searches for a suitable host nest, for example, a crow's nest. While the parent crows are away searching for food, the female cuckoo sneaks into the crow's nest. It either throws away or eats up one of the crow eggs and then quickly replaces the lost egg by laying one egg of its own into the nest before flying away. This cuckoo egg's color patterns and shape resemble the other crow eggs present in the host nest. When the parent crows return to their nest, they cannot distinguish between their eggs and the cuckoo egg. Also, the number of eggs in the nest is the same. Hence, the parent crow takes care of the cuckoo egg just as one of its own. In the language of science, such an event where a cuckoo fools a crow into taking care of its egg is termed brood parasitism, and the cuckoos are termed brood parasites of the crow. The bluff by cuckoos doesn't end there. In fact, it's just the beginning. The cuckoo egg develops faster and in most cases hatches before all the other crow eggs in the nest. Soon after hatching, the cuckoo chick eliminates all the other crow eggs from the nest while the parent crows are away searching for food. The cuckoo chick carries the crow eggs one by one on its back and slowly pushes them to the edge of the nest where it finally tosses them out. By doing so, the cuckoo chick makes sure that it does not have to share the food brought by the parent crows with other chicks and hence it can grow faster. Unaware of the mischievous activities of the cuckoo chick in the nest, the parent crows, also known as foster parents of the cuckoo chick, continue taking care of it by providing it food and protection. The cuckoo chick develops faster and often grows larger in size than its foster parents. Once the cuckoo is ready to fly away, it flies away from the nest, leaving behind its fooled foster parents. These sneaky female cuckoos may also lay eggs in the nests made by robin birds, meadow pipit birds or other songbirds. The eggs of these birds are very different from one another in their size and color patterns. Despite this, the female cuckoos can lay eggs that resemble the eggs of their selected host nest. So how do they do it? How are the female cuckoos able to lay eggs that resemble the eggs of the host nest? Well, cuckoos have found a simple way to resolve this. The female cuckoos remember the host nest in which they hatched as chicks. They remember their foster parents who helped them grow up. Therefore, a female cuckoo that grew up in the crow's nest must always return to lay its eggs in crow nests only. Similarly, a female cuckoo that grew up in a robin's nest must always return to lay its eggs in robin nests only and so on. Hence, if the cuckoos choose the correct host nest, their eggs will resemble the eggs of the host nest. However, if a cuckoo that grew up in a crow's nest returns to lay its egg in a robin's nest, the cuckoo egg will not resemble the robin eggs, and the parent robins will then be able to recognize the different looking cuckoo egg easily, and they will throw it out of the nest. So you see, the cuckoos must choose the correct host nest for laying their eggs, or else their eggs will be thrown out and never hatch. Cuckoos are not the only birds that fool other birds into taking care of their eggs. Many other birds, such as cowbirds, honey guide birds, and black-headed ducks, lay their eggs into the nests of their host birds and fool them. Not only birds, even some fish, such as the cuckoo catfish, also fools other fish into taking care of their eggs. Moreover, we shall find many examples of such sneaky creatures that fool other animals into doing their work in the natural world. So, what do you think? Are these cuckoos just lazy to not build their nests or sneaky to be able to fool other birds or both?